Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and today we are going to be talking about short books. So this one for this video, I think I'm actually going to call this video like short and spicy or something fun like that where these ones are all books that are quick, under 300 pages, have good spice in them. That's that's what I'm in the mood for right now and so that's what I'm recommending to you guys. Um, some of these are novella like really short length, some of them are 250 pages like it's just under 300 pages is like the range that I sort of went for. Um, I really these are some really good quick easy romances especially because we're getting towards the end of the year and if you are like me and are super fucking behind on your uh, Goodreads goal something like this will help go quicker and add more uh, to your Goodreads. <laughs> So I have a, quite a few to recommend to you, so we're just going to get right into it. The first one is one that I read super recently and was super fun, is um, Stranger in Seat 8B by Nikki Castle. I loved Five Rounds by Nikki Castle, and this is her like uh, only book outside of the Fight Game series, so I really wanted to read it, and it was really good. The smut in this one is really good. Um, this is a... Uh, story of a heroine who is like a very buttoned up lawyer and she is on a flight um and she is like I'm gonna get some work done on this flight she's very work focused and the guy that sits in the seat next to her is just keeps trying to talk to her he keeps like um interrupting her being like why are you working why don't you just like take the time to like not have to work while you're flying and all this stuff and she's like well I never take off work um and they have very different approaches to flying and it's very funny and she's like um it's actually seat etiquette to like move over because nobody's sitting in the aisle seat she's in the window and he's in the middle and she's like you could move to the aisle and he's like I'm good here and ends up like just like sitting in the middle seat the entire time and like um butting into her personal space and into her um time trying to work and just keeps talking to her and getting her to talk more and uh it's quick it's fun it is smutty like they definitely have some moments on the actual plane where uh some spicy times go on which <laughs> was super fun um and then their flights both get canceled they're like connecting flights both get canceled and so uh they're like they see each other in the bar waiting um, after their flights get canceled and so they're like uh, decide to have basically a one night stand um, and it's really fun. Would highly recommend reading it. Nikki Castle is a good writer in general but she writes that like tension really well which I think is why I loved Five Rounds so much. The enemies to lovers in Five Rounds where she's just like the two do not get along but they the banter enough that the sexual tension between them like grows so high and that's what they did in this one where the heroine is really like feisty and strong and is like has a lot of opinions and the hero is just like poking and prodding and poking at the open spots on the heroine and the heroine is like getting so agitated but also turned on and it works so well and it's the same way that she does it in five rounds so I'm loving this um banter tension thing that Nikki Castle has and I'm hoping that she continues that in her like next book three count which I think just came out um or comes out like right really soon um so I can't wait to read that one but would recommend the Stranger in Seat 8B uh because it was a good time the next ones are ones that I have recommended multiple times on my channel but they are a big favorites of mine and that is First and Second Semester by QB Tyler. Both of these books are short, they're under, I think they might even be under 200 pages. Um, the first one is called First Semester and it is about a heroine who is uh, going into college and she lies on a dating app and says that she's older than she is 
um, and she matches on the dating app with the hero and she has a one night stand with him and then wakes up the next morning and finds out that he is the professor in her class for the entire semester and uh, she goes to class and he's like what the fuck um and they are like this is not this is not good this is against policy but they're like we have so much sexual chemistry that they just like continue it's great it's student teacher really spicy would love it. absolutely recommend it second semester is my favorite QB Tyler that I've read so far and it is about a heroine who is a virgin heroine and she is a uh intern basically at her father's law firm and she ends up getting sort of taken under the wing of her father's best friend who's also his partner in this law firm and they end up uh having a relationship where he is teaching her about the law and also about all of the things that she doesn't know as a uh whatever however old she is 25 26 year old um virgin um who's never been in a relationship and he is like let me teach you everything that i know and they have a relationship it's so good the spice in second semester is one of my all-time favorites so good so good um it is the one that i was like holy crap i'm gonna need to read more qb tyler if this is how she writes her spice because i freaking loved it also just the dad's best friend element in it is just like so forbidden and taboo and so i have a table in front of me and i just knocked everything off of it but the spice and um but the forbidden and taboo element of second semester so good the next one that I have is a Christmas themed novella. So if you're looking for something wintry, this one will work. And that is The Naughty, The Nice, and The Nanny by Willa Nash or Debney Perry. Um, this one is a uh, single dad novella about a uh, guy who uh, his daughter, he has just recently moved back to um, his hometown. He's there for... Um, he's home for Christmas. Um, this one is about a, a hero who is home for Christmas. His family um, has this huge Christmas party and he has some work that he needs to do while he is home for um, Christmas and also he has like other things with family that he needs to do and he needs somebody to watch his daughter and be like in, in charge of his daughter while he's doing those things and so he's like I need to hire a nanny and he ends up hiring this girl who I believe actually went to high school with him if I remember correctly and he is really uh, worried when he does the interview because his daughter is like a terror and this heroine is like the nanny like a uh, child whisperer she's like a really good nanny um and she is like your daughter is great and he's like oh my god what you said my daughter is great awesome because all of these other people have been telling him that his daughter is like a terror and that she's awful and that she's so like horribly behaved and the heroine comes in and is like your daughter is great um and so the hero, that like really helps with the hero. <laughs> um, but this one is so good. And it also is uh, interesting because he is, gets very distracted because the uh, heroine is there to like be in charge of his kids so that he can do other things. But he keeps getting distracted by from doing those other things because he wants to uh, spend time with the heroine. Um, but it's a Christmas themed one and so they do go to like a Christmas party and everything during it. So if you want something to read that's short during Christmas time, this is a good one. Also, if you have Audible, um, if you have Audible Plus, this one, the audiobook, I think is in Audible Plus category so you don't have to buy it. The next one that I have is The Seduction of Viscount Vice by Nicola Davidson. This one is a, um, historical, uh, novella. Um, so this one is about a hero named Vice who is the co-owner of a pleasure club in England. Um, he's also Scottish so if you listen to the audiobook he has a Scottish accent and would highly recommend the Scottish accent. Oh, love a Scottish accent. Um, but his name is Vice and he's the co-owner of this pleasure club and he is working one night when he sees this person who he's like 
suspicious of is like not supposed to be there he thinks it's like a footman who's not supposed to be there he thinks it's a man and when he uh captures that person it's actually a woman who he knew from scotland who he thought was dead <laughs> so um bit of a twist there the heroine um it is a second chance romance the heroine took his virginity and then uh dipped and then he thought she was dead um, and he was very distraught by this and moved to England um, and turns out she's not dead <laughs> but they have a second chance romance and uh, he has to find out why she was scoping around his club and it's ridiculous it's great it's really really good I actually gave this novella five stars I would highly recommend it um, Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings introduced me to Nicola Davidson and I'm really really happy about that because Second Chance and Marriage and Trouble are two tropes that are like not my favorite and Nicola Davidson made me love books that had those tropes in them. So that's very impressive. Um, but this is a Second Chance romance. It's so good. It's five stars. Would highly recommend reading it, especially if you want a historical novella because I haven't read a whole bunch of historical no novellas that I really love. Then the next one that I have is the uh, Omega's Obsession. So I think this one is probably the longest book on this list. It's a 280 pages and this is an Omegaverse one um, and it's Reverse Harem and it is about a heroine who's been like deeply obsessed with her brother's best friend for her entire life. She's like absolutely obsessed with him um, and has like to the point of like stalk stalking him like she's obsessed with him and uh, she is an Omega now and she uh, wants him and he she finds out that he has packed up and that he um his pack is gonna go to the omega um facility to try and find an omega for their pack and she overhears this and decides to sign up to the omega facility so that she can get matched to a pack so that she can kind of like finagle herself into being the omega for his pack she's like determined she's so determined to be with this guy and she ends up loving the other guys in the pack so that like works out really well but it's so funny um but the other two members of the uh pack that are not the one the main one that she's obsessed with um they are really into her and uh so they are very much like we should go with her and the <laughs> And it works out really well, like, in all of their favors. Um, the heroine, like, literally, like, stalks them and, like, steals their stuff because it, like, has their scent on it and is, like, I need something that's theirs. It needs to be mine. Um, so she has, like, a little, like, box or something where she, like, keeps all the stuff that she stole from people that she's obsessed with. It's funny. Um, it's great. The smut and it's really good. I love an Omegaverse. So if you're interested in something, like, different like that then I would highly recommend it because it was really fun. This is technically book two in a series. You don't have to read book one. It is their complete standalones like it works out perfectly fine. There is also like a mystery-ish suspense plot in this novella also um so that's fun and it has like a different like twist at the end so would recommend. It's a fun one. It is uh MMM so it's good I would recommend <laughs> then the last one that I am going to recommend is also Devney Perry um and it is almost every book in the Runaways series by Devney Perry if you are looking for a series specifically to be like short and quick every book in the Runaways series by Devney Perry is like under 350 pages Forsaken Trail is only like 230 pages so I would recommend reading the series if you want something just like short, spicy, fun, quick that goes through but also with like a full plot line and that is like a whole series. Like there's I think there's six books in the series um, or five books in the series so you'll get multiple and they're fun where they go over across like a whole like the whole series follows like a fun storyline. Um, if you've ever read the Boxcar Children um, as a child the storyline is sort of based off of that um, where these five kids or six kids um, when they were younger all lived in a junkyard together because they were all um, they all had very bad home 
family lives and so they all ran away and lived in a junkyard together and it's now many many years later as they're adults and they all are reconnecting with each other um after they lost touch when they left the junkyard and so each uh book follows a different um one of the children who were in the junkyard as they find romance and reconnect with their past of living in the junkyard and it's really fun and nice and it has a very sweet storyline while also including like Devney Perry goodness into it. So each book has a different trope, each one has a different um romance but they're all overarchingly sweet and nice and quick and easy to read. The first book is the heroine um she is going on a road trip to like find herself because she got uh, divorced recently and is like I need to leave and she ends up uh, br her car ends up breaking down um, and she has to stay in this town where uh, she falls in love with a mechanic. Book two the heroine um, is going back to a um, she's leaving her life basically and going back to a place when that she went to when she was younger to reconnect with a, a girl she was friends with there that she feels like she um like wronged and she ends up having a second chance romance with one of the guys that she knew back when she was living there um the third book is a uh friends to lovers romance where they've been friends for their entire lives um book four is Forsaken Trail. That's probably my favorite. It's Surprise Pregnancy and he is her sister's boss. And then um, book five is my least favorite in the series unfortunately but it is a uh, friends to lovers after they reconnect after a really long time um, and it's really sweet. But the whole series is good and quick and easy to read so if you're looking for something easy would recommend it. But that, that was the last one that I was going to recommend for this video. So I hope you liked it. I hope you can find one. I hope you're doing all right with your Goodreads goals. But I think I'm currently like 15 books behind my Goodreads goal. So I'm going to need to eat, read even more uh, quick, short books. So if you have any recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments because I would love to find more good novellas. Um, but that's gonna be it for this video, so please like it if you liked it and subscribe so you can see more content from me. But other than that, I hope you have a great day. Bye!